Heather Locklear was born on September 25, 1961, in Los Angeles, California. Her father was a director and her mother was an executive at Disney. Locklear was interested in acting from a young age and got her start in the entertainment industry by modeling and appearing in commercials. Locklear's first acting job was in a commercial for the popular brand of acne medication, Oxy-10. She later landed small roles on TV shows like, Chips, and, Eight is Enough, before getting her big break in 1982 when she was cast as Sammy Jo Dean on the hit soap opera, Dynasty. In the early 1980s, Locklear also dated several high-profile men, including actor Mark Harmon and Scott Bio, while they were both starring on the TV show, Happy Days. After her success on, Dynasty, Locklear continued to rise to fame and starred in several TV shows and movies throughout the 1980s and 1990s. She was once considered for the role of Sarah Connor in the 1984 film, The Terminator, and was the original choice to play Lisa McDowell in the hit 1988 comedy, Coming to America, but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. Locklear was later cast in the popular TV show, Melrose Place, for which she was the highest paid actress on television in the 1990s, earning $150,000 per episode. During this time, Locklear was romantically linked to several high-profile men, including musician Tommy Lee, whom she married in 1986. Locklear and Lee divorced in 1993. She then began dating Richie Sambora, the guitarist for the band Bon Jovi, whom she married in 1994. The couple had one child together, a daughter named Ava Elizabeth Sambora. Locklear and Sambora divorced in 2007. In the early 2000s, Locklear dated comedian David Spade after they met on the set of Just Shoot Me. She was also linked to actor Jack Wagner on and off for several years, including while they were co-starring on Melrose Place. The couple was engaged at one point, but ultimately broke up. Locklear was briefly married to musician Larry Porush in 2018, but they filed for divorce the following year. Aside from her romantic life, Locklear is an accomplished musician and plays both guitar and drums. She is also known for her charitable work, supporting causes such as the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's research. Despite her successes in Hollywood, Locklear's personal life has not always been smooth sailing. In 2008, she was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence of prescription medication. In 2012, she was hospitalized for a reported drug overdose. In 2018, Locklear was arrested again, this time on charges of domestic violence and battery on a police officer. She has since sought treatment for mental health and addiction issues. Nevertheless, Locklear remains a beloved and talented actress who has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry.